Foggers, welcome back to episode 33, I think, I believe it's 33 of the Hearts career mode, and we're 14 games into season 2, and then you see the top 6 teams in the league only separated by 9 points, now, I think a lot of people would have probably expected Celtic to be away further in front by this stage, but look at that, they've only won 8 out of their 14 games, including 5 draws and that one sole defeat, which was at the hands of us, and um, I'm hoping we can add more defeats to that tally, but uh, it was a great moment, man, let's, let's all fucking enjoy it. You can see Rangers, they're only three points behind, they have lost a lot more games than Celtic, but they've drew less, so that's why they're only three behind, and they're better goal difference too, so looks like Rangers maybe could go all the way and challenge Celtic, then you've got Aberdeen and obviously us in third and fourth place, we're just a bit behind Rangers, waiting to pounce if Rangers slip up, and then you've also got Partick Fizz on St Johnston, on 21 and 20 points respectively in the top six. And even Ross County and Kilmarnock, look at that, who Kilmarnock could be played today, by the way. 19 points, 18 points. It is very close. And Hibs appear to have won two games in a row. They've got up now into 14 points. So who knows, can Hibs make a late challenge through the rest of the season? We've got Kilmarnock up next. Hopefully we can win. Maybe even overtake Aberdeen in the league table. It is at home, it is at Tencastle. I'm expecting all three points. Let's go and get them. And also our manager rating at 53. It's really fucking worrying me. I don't want it sacked. I'm really enjoying this career mode. I just wish we could get it to go up. That is the team for today's game. McLaughlin, Taylor, Bearer, Suter, Smith, Walker, Busquets, Shuhum, Kilty, Burke and Lavery. I'm going to try and give Nowak, the Polish defender, more game time. He's not really getting a lot at the moment. He's unhappy due to that. He's not going to be starting today, but maybe we can get him a substitute appearance and maybe we can give him a few starts from here on out. Can Kyle much, plays man. through Jamie Walker. Walker can get to this. He shoots. Forces a save after Kelly Keeper. Still looking for Bark. This pass is wayward and it's going to go out for well, corner kick. Now Jamie Walker with the delivery set to come in. It's Suter. He tries to hit it. He's fucking... Oh, straight at the keeper. Straight at Jamie McDonald. Bark. Still Bark. It's lovely to Bark. Oh my Christ. Jimmy McDonald there. Could have saved that in his fucking sleep. Didn't even need to open his eyes. Oh, through to Lafferty. Lafferty's through. Oh, he's put it wide. Or over. Or combination of them both. The King normally uh, buries those chances. Don't know which round them today. Good save from the keeper there, McLaughlin stopping the ball from making the back of the net. Grange now with a corner, ready to whip this one in. Kelly, this is really the first chances of the match and it's awful, well wide. Let Moon Bart come on, he break through here, this defence. Look to Kelly, Kelly whipped in, Lafferty's there, fuck. Who's it? Oh. Come on King. Oh, for eight. Christ, it's going to be a corner, took a deflection off somebody's napper. It's going to be Walker now with the whip in. Better there, heads it over to the top of the net. We can have even better to so it. Doesn't no matter who it was, we need goals. We'll take a goal for anybody with 29 minutes to go. Pass doesn't make its way through. Jimmy Walker now, out wide. Crosses it in, it's Lafferty. Oh, what a goal! The King has returned. No, it's not even Lafferty, it's fucking Burke. But like I say, it doesn't matter who it is, Ollie Burke there, they're on, on loan for West Brom and I'd love to make the loan deal permanent because what a goal that is, Jimmy Walker cutting back there, crossing it in on his left foot and look at that, half folly there by Ollie Burke, not even looking at the goal, turning and spinning, half folly, goal, good night, 1-0. Jesus Christ, I thought it was in. I thought that was in, I thought that was the oh, I saw that. I think everybody thought I was in, holy Christ. Even the player thought it was in, look at that. I think it must have hit the outside post and um, the post behind the goals and I think that's what made it hit the back of the net and then it looked in but fucking really lucky they're not to concede. Would have been a spectacular goal. Eight won't. Cut inside, kill eight. Kill eight, crosses it in, Molt. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Off the post and back into McDonald's hands, and we've managed to hold out there for our one nil win. Not the most convincing of games, but man, they all count three points in the bag. Jamie Walker again getting man of the match with a nine point two. He is fantastic. 
Might not be our highest rated player, but he always plays at Wells for us. Other scores for around the league, Rangers 1-2-1, Celtic 1-3-0, so unfortunately we didn't close the gap to the top two, but we stopped them from pulling further away, which is just about all you can do in some of these situations. I want to be interesting to see if Aberdeen get on, will they bounce back with a win? Right, so we've got a loan offer for Ismail, Real Saragossa have shown interest in taking him. You know what, he's not getting game time here. Do we loan him out? Keep him happy. He's value at 3.2, he's, he's unhappy at the moment, you know what, I think we're going to loan him out because he's just not getting the game time at the moment and uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and loan him out, there you go man Controversial I know, but has to be done I feel, has to be done Right, now we've got Hearts Board performance review meeting scheduled, that's not good <laughs> They're going to review us, our, our fucking hell, our range are down to 51, holy shit we're not on track, uh, we may not hit our mark, expanding our brand, I want to know how the fuck do I expand the brand though, that's what I don't get. Um, finish the see. I, I might have to sell players in January just to try and get investing in our youth. Oh my god, the youth was to make what, 13 million in sales? Again, I don't know how I'm supposed to make that sort of money. Let's have a look at the Youth Academy, we've only got one player eligible, so um, there's just no way we're going to make that kind of money that they want. Darren Hennessy, uh, we don't really want to promote him just yet, but fucking hell, I don't know what we're going to do here. Darren Hennessy, do, do we promote him and give him a chance actually, I don't know. I'll, I think we'll leave him in the Youth Squad for now, but we need something to happen, we're 51 rating and that's going to get us killed. Aberdeen, by the way, have drawn their last two games in a row, so that means they're now... On, they're in front of us, but we're on equal points, and we are, do have a game in hand now, so we can win our game in hand, we'll go three points clear of Aberdeen and move into third place. Hopefully, that could take up the manager rating. We are at home, we are against Hamilton, Hamilton kind of struggling at the moment. You see, they're down in 11th place. I'm expecting to win this. Hopefully, we can get all three points and uh, try and avoid getting sacked here, because that would not be good at all. Going with an unchanged team that beat... Harmonic last time out, why not? We got the three points we won, there's no need to change anything. Shit. Pass the Gulos through. Just played it in back post and it's a goal. Four minutes in. Horrible start. Took defence completely left open at the back. Kalina with the goal. Hamilton celebrating. And uh, <laughs> we could be getting sacked in like 85 minutes. Get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's fired. To him, didn't they? Oh, Bart, come on. Back post Walker, kill after even. Yes, get in, equalizer, oh, come on. Enough of this shit, right? King Kale gets his back on level terms. Let's push on there and get the win. This is not fucking good enough. Just not turned up. We can see that terrible sloppy goal. And then we've just done nothing really. Ought to be, right? That was a decent goal, but. Oh my god, Lafferty, that's only Lafferty's second goal this season. That's terrible. 15 games in. He's only got two goals. Burke. Kelty. Oh, Kelty running through. Kelty. Get in. 2-1. Right. Turned us around pretty quickly. Going to go into the half-time break here. Hopefully with the lead. And things are looking great again. Wham! No chance to keep up. Good night. Dude. Shit. Good save for McLaughlin, although be it. it was kind of straight at him. Might not even get in. It was. Well, Lafferty. Through to Walker. Walker, it's Lafferty there. Punched away. Work. Heads it down to Shum. Shum cracks it. Saved from Woods. Well, it's Pabak school logo, what the fuck his name is, it's crossed in, it's been left, dangerous, side netting and that would have been awful man, I cannot afford to concede a goal at this stage of the game. Lafferty, oh he turns his man, Lafferty shoots, oh what a goal, that is amazing, fucking the king is well and truly still alive, still in charge, big kettle Lafferty, makes it 3-1, twisting and turning, sidestepping his man, Domian, 
and then just stops dead after about 28 yards out maybe and completely finesses it. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Woods got no chance. 3-1, three, 3 points. That's what it's all about. There you go. Comfortable win. 10 shots to their 4. And this time it was Craig Kelty with the man of the match performance. A 9.4. Uh, Kyle Laffey getting a 9.4 as well. Not surprised after his brace. We had Eastmill come on. He played about 10 minutes. Could be his last game for the club. He is set to go on loan to Real Saragossa. So... We'll just have to wait and see how they get back to us there. But they go Celtic. Celtic actually lost. So that's great news. Celtic lost to Kilmarnock 2-1. And Rangers drew at home to Motherwell 1-1. So it helps got beat a game, which is always good. But that means we're going to catch up and gain ground on both of them. So that is absolutely fantastic. And you can see now the updated league table. Celtic on 16. Rangers uh, 16 games played. All played 16 games, all played an equal amount, and we're only four points behind Celtic, two points behind Rangers, four points separate the top three teams. Uh, this title race could very well go down to the wire. You never ever know. Our goal difference is a little bit poor. We need to stop conceding so many goals, but I mean, the last two games we've only conceded what? One goal in two games, that is not bad. That is, that, that is more like it. My man's ratings also went back up to 58, which is good news. Murray Davidson wants to play more. We'll have to try and sort that out. Alright, so that Eastmill has been loaned out. It is official. He has now joined them for a year loan move to Real Saragossa. We'll get him back in a year's time. And in the league, Rangers have played in, uh, their game on Saturday. They've drew it, and Aberdeen have played their game on Saturday, and they've drew so... The teams around us again dropping points. We've got an epic chance now to win our match at home against Ross County and move on to the same points as Rangers. That would be absolutely great if we can do that. Find out, guys, in the next episode where I'm hoping we can get our third... Is it our third win on the road? I don't know. We'll check. Third win on the bounce. It might be. It might be. Yeah, we'll beat Hamilton at home. Then we beat Kelly at home. Then we drew with Celtic. Yeah, so this would be our third home win in a row. I can't remember the last time we lost actually. It was um, I think it was this game against St Johnston. Yeah, that 3-0 defeat against St Johnston back in October. The last game we lost. Our form's been good. Hopefully we can keep it up here and get all three points against Ross County. Anyway guys, that's going to be in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below. And until next time, it looks like this title race is well and truly on. Peace.